Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA 4. And on this part, we're going to be doing Pack East missions, and we're going to do that crazy bank robbery mission also. Waste not, um, want nots. So the plan was they were going to hide the diamonds in the queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Nico. Hey, Kate. Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Ooh. Sure, I know the difference. One leaves you feeling sad and empty and alone, and the other's <laughs> casual sex. And I'm quite sure you and Mr. Nico here will have fun on your play date. Hey! Coming, Ma! You boys play nice now. For sure! Hey! Okay! Oh, we're gonna play real nice. <laughs> They're clean as a fucking whistle. One previous owner, yeah. safely driven, ready for action. We got an opportunity, my boy. Yep, fortune favors the brave. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. So is you down, boy? Or is you out? Down for what? Down for robbing a thief. Robin Hood. I just love exactly. Packy and his friends. Robin fucking Hood. <laughs> Who are you going to rob? The fucking mafia, boy. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Is the money good? What's the risk? Well, the risk is we all die a very slow and painful oh. death. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the money is good, very good indeed. So you in, big guy? Or are we gonna have to kill you? Well, since you put it that way, I mean. Right, good. all right, right. all right. Let's yeah, go. Come on. Let's do this. The thing is, that line that Gordon actually says to Nico, I'm sorry, you're in, or are we gonna have to kill you? That's actually, um, in, uh, car, it was actually I'm a big, these two idiots can't drive big part of the GTA, um, the GTA 4, um, third trailer. So the third trailer for GTA 4, there was actually, um, uh, that line was at the very end of it. Take us out to the waste management plant under the Algonquin Bridge on Colony Island, big man. You know what I always found weird about the GTA games? When you go and hang out with friends or even do a mission, they're like, we're gonna need a car. And the funny thing is, is you'll steal the car right in front of them and they're like perfectly I'm okay with it. Controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell all those Watt families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorino's a type of cheese. Pecorino's is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. The McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. His wife was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know the Purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? There's Gordon's line now. <laughs> because people found the McCreary's story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in Purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I met. I bet. Model community leader, my ass. You're just worried he'll start clamping down on you, ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Here we are, boys. Moment of fucking truth. So, um, uh, Francis McCreary is actually, um, Packy's brother, so the guy that we actually met, the, um, police commissioner, that is actually Packy's brother. And, uh, Francis, like, um... Fucking people? Alright. Don't go too fucking far, Nico. 
So just like, um, I accidentally skipped the cutscene there, but, um, just like, um, uh, Packy said that, um, uh, I don't think that Francis even knows how much of a crook he is. He, he, he's right on that. Francis acts like he's a good guy, but in reality, he's, he's a pretty corrupt guy. Okay, so in this mission, what we're, what we're doing is we're robbing the, um, uh, the Ancelotti's. So the Ancelotti's are actually one of the five families in, um, in Liberty City. There's five Mafia families, and then there's the Pegarinos out in Albany. And the, um, the, uh, the five families, I'm trying to remember all of their names. Um, there's, uh, the, uh, Ancelotti's, which are the weakest of the five. There is the, um, there's the, uh, the Gambetti's. And then there's the Pavanos, and I'm trying to remember the other two if they're actually ever named. Okay, we're gonna go for that money now. It's up here. Okay, we got the money. Uh, the, uh, from the depot of Packy, okay. I wonder how Gordon and Michael actually ended up escaping. Swimming for a day? Sure, my boy! There's the boat just out there, I'll race you. I like how he said he's race, race me, and then what, what is he doing over there? Oh, he's jumping from there? Okay, that's a little weird. That don't mean I can drive one. Fuck it, though. I'll give it a try. Okay, now let's get out of here. Get Packy back to safety. That was fucking beautiful. We did ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Providing the Ancelotti's don't figure out it was us, they ripped them off. Now don't fucking worry about it. But this figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays, it ain't a problem. I hope you're right, for my sake. Just shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I'll tell you though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac. And it ain't gonna be my Katie. I'll think about the money then. What a trooper. So, um, even Packy realizes that Nico likes Kate. We did it. Top of the fucking world. Here's your chef. Don't go spending it in any Italian restaurants. <laughs> Don't go I'll spending it in any Italian place. restaurants. So this is where you start, you know, start making some better money um, with Packy. We got this text from Packy. I told my brothers about you. Got a big job plan. Put on a suit, a tie, and some good shoes and get over here. Costs uh, a load, but the only place to go for that is in Perseus and Algonquin. So uh, we got the suit. Let me get my suit here also right now. Okay, so I got my suit on now. Let's do this mission. Three Leaf Clover. This is the one of the best missions in GTA 4. A lot of people say this is the best mission in the game. Nico, Belek. Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers. The two that count. Derek and Gerald. Hi. 
Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry? Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? <laughs> yes, yes. It's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh. No offense, mister. That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you in bread halfwit? <coughs> I make a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother-sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother-sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, the voice no, acting in this no game trouble. is so good. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry yeah. just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three times already and still won't admit he likes men. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family, or I will fuck with yours. All right, we're heading to the Southern Algonquin branch of the Bank of Liberty. I always wondered why Gordon uh, didn't come along on this. Let's do this. Here's how the shit is going down. We're gonna go inside and each take down a security guard. Me and St. Michael here are gonna handle the civilians while Nico and Derek manage the employees. Anyone tries anything, you put them down hard. Once the situation has been controlled, Derek's going to rig the vault door with explosives. I got enough PE4 here to get through anything they throw at us. PE4? I never heard of that. It's some limey name for C4 that Derek here picked up over there. I ain't having this argument with you, Patrick. Safe to say, what we're using is controllable enough to go through any vault door without incinerating whatever's inside. Not gonna leave much residue on the notes either, so they should be washable. Oh, well, they're going to be washable, all right. Can't wait to see what sort of kick C4 residue is gonna give me when I snort up a line of chop through one of them notes. First, you're a fucking charmer, Patrick. Second, it's PE4, not C4. Whatever, at least I'm honest about my habits, Derek. You know nothing about nothing, Patrick. I'm honest about me demons. Hit the needle on the old head there, did I, Derek? Expression is, hit the nail on the head, Packy. Really, Michael? You don't think I know that? And Jerry was right about you, Mikey. Your parents must have been twins to produce a kid as dumb as you. I'm surprised you ain't got three eyes, no balls, and a club foot. Don't bring my parents into this, Packy. All right, all right. Do we all know what we're doing? Once the vault door blows, I want Nico and Michael to go down into the vault to get the money while me and my brother handle the crowd control. All makes sense to me. If you guys can stop arguing for a few minutes, then I think we might be okay. Notice what Nico says there at the end. That's a little bit of foreshadowing. If you guys could stop arguing, I think we'd be okay. And uh, the thing is, I knew that this was going to go bad the first time that I played it. Um, uh, I just, just had a gut feeling something was going to go wrong. Let's get the other part of my outfit on right now. Here we are. Wait until you're inside to get ballied up. And here we go. I got the cosplay on too for this part even. That's Lewis no, also. Fuck smooth. Get on the floor. None of you is going to get a medal for playing hero. All you're going to get is a bullet to the heart. Don't none of you worry about nothing. We're here for the bank's money. It's going to a greater cause. Shut up and handle the safe. Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! I think this Open is my favorite, door. uh, okay. this is... Okay, wait a minute! This is definitely it. my favorite mission in GTA 4. Get on the floor! Now! But sir, you too! <laughs> okay, you too. okay! That's Lewis, we're gonna be playing as him later on when we do the ballad. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. With me? Hey, 
What's your name, son? Luis. But this ain't such a good idea, bro. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people. We're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why we... are you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's going to make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you! Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do. Here comes the I'll arguing. Let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night. Motherfucker! <laughs> fuck! Oh. We told you not to fuck with us! Oh. Shit! Michael! Saint fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother will watch the kids! And this is where the thing starts going really bad right now. And the thing is, though, uh, remember what Nico said. If they would have just stopped argu arguing, nothing bad would have happened. But um, if they w hadn't had argued and they actually watched the crowd, maybe that wouldn't have happened and Michael would have still been alive. I think this is the best GTA heist of all time. I don't think any heist still um, uh, comes close to this one. This is the best one. I got all the money I could. There's still some in there, though. We ain't got time to go back in. Let's move out, boys. Here we go. Now look at what's gonna go be going on outside. Look at this. Damn. Come on, let's do this, people. Go, go, go. It's gonna go. be a war zone now. Move in, move in. Damn, we knocked Derek down. Nico yells also a lot of really unique lines during this mission. And there is so many um, noose and cops that you have to fight in this mission. The noose are the squad in uh, GTA 4. Damn, I mean, look at this. I ain't going to jail in this country. This is probably the hardest mission that's been that so far in the game.
damn, they're everywhere. They're on the fire escapes. And this was actually pretty smart going into the subway. The cops down here too. Check over there, boys. There are too many cops clear the path. You don't want to die for the bank's cash, and he goes with lines. Damn, they're everywhere. And they're on the other platform now, too. Great, the SWAT's coming down here now, too. Oh, is that trains coming in? And you could have been more careful of your boy Michael. He should be worse right now. Michael was unlucky. It wasn't anybody's fault what happened to him. And the explosive did its job. The both of you shot the fuck up. There's gotta be a service exit. Let's hit it. Got some health right here. I remember in GTA Online when they added the Pacific Standard heist, I guess they kind of inspired it from this, but what was really annoying about that heist is how when the bags get shot, you lose uh, money. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, I'll show you guys a really easy way to actually lose the wanted level on this. Happy you spoke to him. Didn't matter what you were saying. Yeah, well, now I gotta explain to his folks that his son is lying dead on the floor of a bank in the You give them this cut. When your kid is living a life, you gotta expect someone to come through the door and break this sort of news. That does not make it any easier to hear. And we aren't safe yet. Eye on the road, Nico! We don't want you to have to break no bad news to our mom. Go right that up here. Lie. This is a really easy way to lose the cops, and you'll start getting back to Packy's house also. Did that cop just fall off of the bridge? Okay, we lost the cops, now we're good.
got places to be, don't we? 20 yards. Turn left. Then immediately left. Oh, you have arrived. Thanks, Nico. You're a damn good man. I wasn't just driving you two. The money was in the car as well. Remember <laughs> that. We won't forget it, Nico. Here's your cut. I tell Jerry you did good. He might give you a call or something. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and I think that also unlocks the final island in the game now. And um, actually, when you finish that mission, you can actually call Roman for a unique phone call. There's actually a few unique phone calls that you can have with him after certain missions. Roman, how's it going? Have you seen this bank heist on the news, NB? That's some crazy shit. I bet you wish you pulled off a job like that. Who says I didn't? You're shitting me, NB. No fucking way! Who'd you do it with? This fucked up Irish family. Well, some of them. There are four brothers. Two are gangsters, one's a cop. And the other is a heroin addict, ex-freedom fighter. And then there's a sister. A sister? That sounds more my speed than these crazy brothers. I can tell from your voice that you like her cousin. Are you two doing it? I've got to go, Roman. I'll talk to you soon. So I guess that's it here, guys. We'll wrap this up here. On the next part, we'll go on the date with Kate, and we'll also start doing um, race missions. So that was my favorite mission in the game. I think it's a lot of people's favorite mission. And a lot of people say that Three Leaf Clover, the bank robbery, is like the best mission in GTA 4 because of just the crazy action that's in that mission. And you notice how, like, in GTA 4... Oh, we got a phone call here? Oh, we'll save that for the next part. I think that's probably going to trigger the next mission um, with you all paper. But, um, yeah, like, you know, it's like that scene, like with the whole bank robbery, that's like, you know, cool. But it's not like ridiculous, like, you, you know, some of the stuff that you had like in GTA Online with like flying bikes. So, like, that's proof right there that you can make a game action fun without like making it, you know, really ridiculous. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoy this series, please do drop a like on it because it does help this series out a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Thank you.